Hi guys, good evening if you are in US and good morning if you are in Manila, Philippines. So it's Happy New Year, it's 2023. So I hope everybody's fine. And it's me again, Dr. Jenny Yusuf, physical therapist and doctor of physical therapist, wishing you everyone to have a great 2023. This is a uh, wishing that we will have an amazing year. And it's thanks God it's Thursday once again. We all ways highlights and interview innovators entrepreneurs physical therapists and other clinicians we even have audiologists and um different in uh, entrepreneur last year right so for tonight we will have Percival Acosta they know him as yeah. Parsi he's a physical therapist and an um ambassador and also he helped lots of Filipinos and other country doing a non-profit organization volunteers and he's the co-founder of the Bukidnon Shalom Ministries during the pandemic he helped a lot of people doing the ministries doing donations volunteers medical mission that's amazing as a physical therapist right so right now he has another passion in helping different therapists looking forward to their goal their dream to be a physical therapist abroad so we'll get to know him get some tips on how to pass npte you know and other ways of how to come here in us so without further ado we have parsi pt the founder of the acosta of hope and then, welcome, Percival Acosta, welcome to Balance and Falls and Fishygen PT and Wellness. How are you? Hi, Doc Jen, and thank you very much for this opportunity, uh, Doc Jen, for uh, this time of the year. Uh, I know that it's your first interview for, for me to have this year, so that it's a good thing for me as well to start this year. Yes, yes. You are welcome. You really worth it. I would like to thank you for all the efforts you're doing. Um, you're motivating our different therapists, especially they are entry level, they have their goal, their dream. So can you tell us first, where's this coming from? And how's your journey as a physical therapist it's quite a story there you know lots of <laughs> challenges so tell us yeah, something yeah. about your journey yeah yeah i my family actually has uh, some businesses here in the philippines but uh, due to the pandemic we were not able to really survive that well so uh at that time i innovated also myself to be really in full time for for my PT uh, profession. So uh, I reviewed for then PT in Guam. Then I stayed there for like six months to just pass the exam because you know it's it's not that easy to pass the exam. Uh, that that's it. That's true. I I took I think uh, I did twice. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm very close on the yeah. first one. They thought um, when yeah. we were reviewing in my agency, because we have an in-house review, oh, Jenny will pass very well. She had an experience in Saudi Arabia and Abu Dhabi. <laughs> it's different, you know? <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I didn't pass the first time. Luckily, I passed the second time. It's different journey, different Yeah, ways. it's really hard. It's really hard. So I just like to really encourage everybody, especially physical therapists, and other healthcare professionals to do the same, just like us. You know, uh, it's hard, and sometimes family members or even friends don't really can't appreciate what we're doing. So it's better to have somebody also like like you, Doc Chen, to mm -hmm. encourage everyone. And I myself am inventing also myself as an encourager for them as well to do the same. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's really good. But tell us before you come, um, before your journey as a physical therapist, um, you're helping uh, Filipinos in Bukidnon Shalom Ministry doing some yeah, medical yeah. missions. Tell us about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm so thankful with uh, some of my friends. We, I have actually a friend who's uh, really in the the in the medical. Uh, profession and we're we're classmates actually in the PT profession before and he went to medical 
uh, to be a medical doctor. And then we do a lot of uh, time together. So we, we founded the medical ministry, mm -hmm. uh, helping other uh, communities to, to have those free treatments. And uh, we do medical missions everywhere in, in Bukidnon and the, the Philippines. So that's what we did. Yes, yes, that's really helpful. It's difficult to get donations, you know, where to get the money. But at the same time, you're doing and helping lots of people. So that, where is the motivation coming from? So where is this coming yeah, from? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it all started with my family. I, I know uh, my, my children are well off. Uh, their mom can give them everything. But, you know... Uh, I also in I also want them to see other places and all that, and I, I can't afford myself to get them into like uh, education or something. So I, I decided to like ah, oh I want to go to the U.S. At least I can also mm -hmm. somehow bring them soon or mm -hmm. let them visit there and tour them around something like that. So it's really for the family and and, and not just for the family, but of course for all the professionals out there who really like to join us to go abroad. That's what yes. I am thinking of myself. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. I did, um, before I came here in U.S., I work in um, Saudi Arabia, United, uh, United Arab Emirates, So, and then now wow. I'm U.S. Everybody's always like, they have a dream goal, right? So how, yeah, and yeah. how are you helping them by this uh, a coaster of hope i know that the name is comes from your last name and that's really <laughs> nice from the hope right? yeah 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 i I'm, I'm just a a you know normally i it, it's i think it's in my genes that i usually encourage people because i i came from also from a very poor family and a broken family so i mm -hmm. think i, I had to share something to give people hope as well in, in what we, they do. And for me, uh, I'm trying to be good in the profession. So I focus on the PT and, and some nurses and OTs as well to really mm -hmm. have those processes uh, become easier for them. Because when I did, bef uh, what I did before is that I, I have been into a lot of agencies and all that. And, and uh, because I can't really understand how they do it because um, more of the agents are very secretive on how they do the documents and all that. So I want to discover what to do. So I did the DIY for New York. And so I discovered everything, what, what are the steps. So I wrote it down. I, I placed it in my WhatsApp. And then when somebody calls me or asks me about it, then I just send it to them mm -hmm. step by step, something like that. So the, it, yes. it's going to be easier for everyone to to. To really follow all the, the you know the links. Yes, yes, that's really helpful because they yeah. need um a roadmap, you know, so yeah. they will not yeah, be yeah. blank how to do it, how to do yeah. it. I don't have any mentors now. They have you because yeah, you have an yes. experience. And, and so not just uh, so not to mention it's for free. It's for free. It's free. I don't charge them anything. Uh, just a simple well, thank you <laughs> is a good is good enough. <laughs> or send you some like pasalubong or something. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's like can sweets. Be, uh, <laughs> that's a bonus already. <laughs> yeah, that's a bonus, right? Yeah, uh, so yeah. that's really good because whatever you serve will come back. You know, well, ten times mm -hmm. fold. You know, so whatever kindness you're giving, that's really. Uh, that's a blessing. So can you share us a little bit some of your challenges that motivates you and and your wins right now and your PT journey? Yeah, I think the most ch challenging thing for me is passing the NPT. And with, of course, uh, I'm not connected with the, the final frontier, but I, I did my review there. So I would really, I really recommend them for that review because they, they are so systematic in doing it. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's just online. At, it, it's the, the most affordable so far, I can see in the online reviews that we have in physical therapy. So I really recommend that. Of course, um, 
yeah, I wanna get better on doing things. So I did my green card as well with my employer now with Sam Hanna, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, US Healthcare LLC. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a, a good thing as well for me because uh, Sam also really um, uh, pay for all those uh, what we need, like for the visa and mm -hmm. the airfare and all that. So that's why uh, people in our in our community as physical therapists and healthcare professionals, I encourage them to to go with Sam as well if they mm -hmm. like the offer, of course. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, do everything very easy as long as you pass the exam. That there's no worry about anything there. Mm -hmm. So that that's what that's my challenge: it, the passing of the exam. I want to share everything to everybody. That's good. So if ever we have more tips, you know, things that really help you, the reading materials like reviewers or book that they need to focus mm -hmm. on. You shared already the review center. And I met some mm -hmm. people as well in the NPTE frontier, final frontier. Uh -huh. I met. Yeah. And then right now, now that they're trying to review what other reading materials they need to invest um, that you can share. Because they might be yeah, listening yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, we have also good resources like therapy ads, school builder, score builders. Yeah, uh, I, I usually just review on the online portion, online mm -hmm. portion, and maybe selective chapters of the book, so that mm -hmm. uh, you can master what you need to really get on in reviewing, and uh, of course, speed. We also have P. Yes, I have that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. what FSBPT is uh, trying to to show us the way on how to pass the exam. And definitely, you can get that around two months before the exam. But with therapy and score score builder, you can get them uh, six months before the exam. You you have to master everything before you can get into the 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 passing, you know, mm -hmm. scores. Yeah. When will be the when will be the exam this year, twenty twenty three? Uh January. We have January twenty seven, I think. January. Yeah. Is it only yeah. once this year or uh, is it we have January, April, oh, okay. so July, more. and October. Yeah, we have okay, four so exams like four. in a year. Wow, yeah. that's good. Yeah. So if if I will do an NPT exam, ideally, how many months will be the time frame for my review? So it will be yeah, the usually, first time, uh, according to experts like Dr. Singh of NPT Final Frontier, he always tells us that you ha you had to review like seven to nine months. That that's okay. three cohorts, three cohorts, mm -hmm. all in all. Mm -hmm. So that, that that's the best time for you to review it, and you ha really have to focus on those days. And maybe around uh, four to six to eight hours a day, if you can do that. But at okay. least four hours a day. Yeah. That's really good. All right. That's really good. At least they need to prepare, invest mm -hmm. in those reviewers. Of course, they need to have a time. And of course, if they're still working, they keep working, right? Don't don't stop working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they need yeah, to work. Otherwise, and then they review. don't have finances. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, yeah. how about their tip, your tips for their health and their style of reviewing? Because people have different style of edu um Yeah, yeah. What do you have? Some are visual, some are auditory. They are very good mm -hmm, in their listening. Mm -hmm. Me, I really faster like audiobooks or it sink in and I'm very slow like to read but I just yeah. skim so some people uh -huh. want to have lots of colors in their reviewers yeah, so yeah. what's your tip with them mm -hmm. yeah during my my times when I was reviewing I really do a lot of audio audio and visual you know uh, reviews like for example videos I, I usually repeat videos watching them and even when I'm I'm on the bathroom or cooking or something, I usually listen to the lectures. That that's what mm -hmm. I do. Even in TOEFL or or NPTE or what whatever uh, exams that we have, we, I usually do that because I can't grasp right away the the essence of you know the concepts. So that's what I do. And I'll, not all of us are really very 
intelligent and all that. Uh, most mostly of the you know medical professions, we are not really that intelligent. We are just we just endure <laughs> in those days that we do the review and all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. my, and my dad is always seeing me with all those big books, you know, our books as a uh -huh. physical therapist, right? It's so big. And then yeah. I mm -hmm. have, he said that I keep studying very well. And he didn't know that if I didn't study so well, like three times, <laughs> I would not pass. <laughs> just yeah. normal, like only in a simple That's class. It. Party, just simple uh -huh. class, simple exam. Not I'm not talking NPTE. And then this is yeah. one of my colleagues. He's he can party that night before. He can party, attend anything, <laughs> don't review, and we will have the same score. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's it. That's how smart uh, they I'm are. I'm not like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I am just uh, hardworking, and they are just so smart. You know what I mean? Uh, so there are yeah. some people like that. So hardworking. So, so it's very what, 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 what I can say is that we have to experiment our 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 you know experiment ourselves mm -hmm. on what we do best. That's it. Yes. You just have yes. to you have to know ourselves first. That's true. So how can they connect you? So let's say we know already the accoster of hope. You have your WhatsApp. Yeah. So tell us and share us your um any information because I know whoever listening right now looking forward to learn more and some support, especially they're looking forward to work in New York so they can mm -hmm. work with you because you are more on base with New York, the agency and Sam. So how can we check on you and connect? Yeah, uh, if you really want to have a real-time response from me uh, for the tips that we have, so you can actually uh, send messages in WhatsApp uh, at uh, plus 16961852345. So that's my number. So uh, maybe you can, you can also show yes. them later. Yes. But, but I Jen. Will yeah. I will post it once we post the video. I will going to add it on your so they can connect you. How about the email or any yeah, the, website? The, for yeah, that? email. Uh, email can be like uh, U US Acoster of Hope okay. at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. yes, and also so the, the, the website, website of Samahana. We have US Healthcare, uh, US Health five care yeah you, yeah you can also post that mm -hmm. yeah i'll get mm -hmm. all those information from you and then definitely okay, you. if some of our listeners looking forward to learn more definitely um, we will share it with you so thank you guys if you thank have you. more questions you're welcome if you have more questions with Parsi, PT, looking forward to have some tips so he's definitely would like to share his uh, um, knowledge you know and yeah. especially is for free he just would love to help you guys so connect with him any other um last what do you call this message for our yeah. physical therapist yes yes uh, to all uh, physical therapists nurses and occupational therapists out there if you really like to know how to really have an easy, easier way to process everything, you can, uh, you can uh, message me, and definitely I will get back to you on those. And uh, with regards to your green card at H one B, we also are open for those things, and we we pay full of your visas uh, mm -hmm. going to the U S. So that, that that's really a good thing for us to know as well. That's really good. Yes, yes. Yeah. Majority of agencies right now are doing the green card. That's really good. And then H one B a little bit faster, right? But there's still yes, yes, like, yes. Um, a lottery. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a yeah. lottery. Yeah. yeah it's a lottery. So thank you so much. As a physical therapist, we know you're a physical therapist. Can you give us a little bit of tips for our balance and false member? We have clients and caregivers in the group. Yeah, of course. Uh, for for our post members uh elderly uh, all you have to do is like do the your regular checkups with your medical doctors and physical therapists nurses 
uh, in the team. And of course, you have to really be healthy. And uh, if you have activities of daily living every day, you try to do and maximize everything for you. Uh, walk around, exercise, do the household chores if you can. And that that's what makes us, you know, move and physically fit. Uh, just simply, uh, you know, watering the plants or washing mm -hmm. the dishes are, are are all good exercises mm -hmm. for us to do. So yeah. that's what I think is best for for the elderly. That's really good. That's why people in our farm are more athletic and healthier than the people in the yeah, city, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah. you but don't expose too much on the sunlight. On the you know? sun. it, it's oh, that's bad. the enemy. <laughs> For our farmers. Yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much, Farsi. You're really uh, you. we're really grateful for your sharing your tips and your knowledge to our uh PTs. Looking forward to learn more going to US. Okay, guys, okay. if you have any further questions, connect with us with the Fish Gen PT and Wellness. It's me again, Dr. Jenny, physical therapist, Dr. Physical Therapy, uh board certified geriatric clinical specialist and also the vice chair of the aging, um, global in aging adults um, by the special interest group for the Academy of Physical Therapy Association. God bless and looking forward for a better 2023. Bye for now, guys. Thank you for watching and connect with us in YouTube. Bye.